Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. We talk every Tuesday morning about gold and silver and diamonds and coins and collectibles. Uh, great to have with us, of course, today from National Estate Jewelry Buyers, uh, our friend Barry Blank uh, back with us today. Good morning, Barry. How you doing? I am wonderful. It's chilly here, though. Yeah, where, where would here be? Miami Beach, Florida. Oh, uh, my heart is breaking for you. What's chilly in South Florida in January? Oh, I think it, I think it's about fifty-five degrees. <laughs> Would you believe the wind chill is going to be uh, minus uh, close to that in some parts of the country? Jeez, I, you, you know it's like uh, hard to believe. I, I, I'm I'm actually concerned about people because yeah. with negative negative forty fifty degrees wind chill factors. People are in real danger. Could be, could be. We hope everybody's going to be okay. But uh, glad you're down in in Florida there. And we'll we'll talk about what you're doing there in just a second, Barry. But not a week goes by that something in the world of collectibles and things that you do and have done so well makes news. Uh, There was uh, a find in a barn in Europe that was some cars, uh, some vintage cars from the 20s and 30s that apparently the owner had these cars but uh, couldn't keep them insured so he just parked them and left them there for all these decades and now they were discovered these cars potentially could go for over a million dollars when they're going to be auctioned in Paris coming up soon has anybody ever brought you a car Barry and said what do you think this is worth well actually it did happen uh, about a year or so ago but it wasn't really valuable it was a 1970s Mercedes. I forget that. that I, I'm not really good at remembering these things on, on, on cars. Mm-hmm. But it was a sports car that had been parked for uh, probably 10 to 20 years. Uh, convertible, hardtop convertible. And, and, you know, and, and they just wanted me to buy it. So I bought it for $700, and it sounded <laughs> good. Uh-huh. I think I made a $200 profit on it because it, it the enti- I knew the inside was rusted, but it needed a total, complete renovation, and it needed a gas pump. But, you know, this, this was exciting. I loved the idea of having a vintage car. And when I realized the kind of work it needed, I said, nah. Right. I can understand that. So uh, driving order or not driving order, does that impact the value? I would think it would, right, for a car? Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, if this car was running and uh, and, and, and fully and, and not needing renovation, I think the car would have been worth between ten to 15000 Wow. Maybe more. Very interesting. All right. I want to follow what's going on with these cars here in Belgium. But uh, talk about why you're in, in South Florida today, Barry. What's going on there? Well, interesting thing, when I got to my, my, I'm doing an antique show, and when I got to the booth, there's a sign in it, it, it part of my sign says, 25 years plus. I've been at this antique show since before my daughter was born. My daughter is 34 years old. Wow. So, and she was here when she was three months old, believe it or not, I carried her around at the show and showed her off. And um, this show is my strongest very most strongest show of the year where I sell not only more items than I ever sell anywhere else, but the dollar amount, I think, um, I haven't done my totals yet, but I will have sold close to $300,000 worth of jewelry before the show is over. That is remarkable. Wow. That's really awesome. Is there sort of like one hot must-have item that people are kind of buzzing about this year there, there Barry? Well, the, the this is a rare, very big wholesale show. Okay. I'd say... Diamonds, as usual. Diamonds are the hottest. Uh, vintage jewelry. It's really not one thing. Anything anything that's well-priced, and I price everything very well, because that's my goal, is to move merchandise and have cash turn. Um, or cash flow, as it's now called. Uh, I've sold necklace for almost 100000 I sold... Uh, Whoa. Um, I sold wa- Rolex watches... I was offered many, many things. Matter of fact, somebody's bringing me jewelry to the show this morning to look at. Um, I have vintage handbags at the show, which I, which I bring. Whatever I have in the store, I usually bring down. I have three Chanel bags, a few Louis bags. It's very exciting. It definitely people is. Are, p- people are really ser- searching for merchandise by known designers, like Van Cleef and Arpels, Tiffany, uh, even David German, and many, many other things. Awesome. Are the buyers uh, from the United States, Barry? A show like this, I would think, might take on an international flair. You're, you're kind of seeing some people it's, from other countries? I 100% might have buyers from Italy who have known well, this whole time, uh, Germany, Austria, Russia, 
Uh, even even foreign countries like the United States, <laughs> which Aren't we are the biggest there. immigrant biggest immigrant country in the world as a trip. Thing. Of and anyway, course, go ahead. Of course, yeah, uh, excellent. And uh, is this a week long event? Uh, a couple days? How long does this last for you? Well, I flew. The, the, the setup started last Wednesday for the big antique uh, antique furniture dealers. We came in Thursday, and the show uh, the show opened. On Friday, on Saturday, excuse me, and it closes today. So is it, it's a. Is there anything for the casual antique uh, hunter, Barry, or do you have to be really kind of uh, have a lot of knowledge about antiques to attend an event like this? No, I consider this it's great for the novice because what when I when people tell me they're interested in learning about antiques or state jewelry, I tell them go to antique shows, go go and look and ask because most of the people. Most of the nicer dealers will be very happy to share their knowledge. And it's just a great place to see so much. It's, we had a, um, who is the artist that did, I, I, one of the artists did a um, comics in the uh, 50s, this set of furniture, I forget the artist's name right now, but next time I'll remember. This, uh, three or four piece set with these cartoon uh, on them. Uh, they're asking twenty five thousand for this small wow. set of two two couches and two end chairs. I think it's just wonderful. Awesome. Uh, is there an auction component to this? Or are there valuables uh, being uh, bought and sold at auction too, Barry? Or is it uh, not an yeah. auction show at all? No, it's not an auction show. In the past, there were auctions where where people donated items, and the items then um, were auctioned during the show, and it was like a, a silent auction where people just kept putting bids in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't see that at this show. But uh, everything is for sale. Uh, there are auction companies set up to advertise their uh, their, their uh, services. Um, but everything is point of sale. Yeah. Excellent. Very cool. Now, did you get all your boxes emptied at home? I know you just moved into a new home about a month or so ago. Did you get the boxes emptied before you left for Florida? Or are you going to come back and still have some work to do? Well, there, there were two boxes that were unemptied. So unopened, so I opened them and looked at them. <laughs> then I moved them to the garage, which I think everybody's familiar with. Right, of course. And uh, yeah, with this, and, and my wife sent me. Uh, my wife Nancy sent me a wonderful, wonderful photo of a sunrise out of our back back porch. Oh, nice. Yeah, and if, I if, it, if anything, with this bitter cold weather, the sun rises and the sun sets have been just gorgeous lately. You're right. I I heard a song like that. Uh-huh. You know, zero mustel and. Uh, and Fiddler on the Roof, Sunrise, Sunset. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. So even though Barry is uh, basking in the 50-degree temperatures uh, of South Florida, uh, the Tuesdays, of course, uh, continue to be the free evaluation days at National Estate Jewelry Buyers. And, of course, remember, no matter what, they never ask you how much you want for something. It is unethical and professional, and you will never have that happen to you. Route 18, right next to FedEx office. Of course, uh, stop by, tell Barry and his crew how much you love the weekly features that we do here for a nice gift as well. Uh, top prices for gold.com or call 732-257-GOLD. Uh, in the wintertime, uh, is there a seasonal impact at all on your business, Barry? Do things kind of go up or down depending on when there's there's some bitter cold weather around? No, the only thing that happens in, in really, really cold or nasty weather is, to, of course, business will be slow that day, but mm-hmm. usually the day after really bad weather, we get an influx. So I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that we're always busy. Uh, i we must be doing something right. You must be, right? After all these years, you must be. Well, Barry Blank, thank Google, you. Yep, go ahead. Now, our Google reviews bear us out. There we you have go. over 100 positive, very five-star Google reviews. So. Awesome stuff. Great stuff. Well, Barry, thank you as always. Enjoy your stay in South Florida. I hope it warms up a little bit because it's going to be bitter cold here, and about two-thirds of the country is going to have to deal with some very cold yeah. weather. So the point yeah. of Florida is like, uh, you know, uh, shorts and uh, and sunshine, right? Hopefully you'll have some time for that while you're there. Yeah, we're coming back tonight. I haven't seen much daylight. Uh, all right. Well, Barry, thank you, and uh, we'll talk again next Tuesday, and uh, and and I'll stop by the store and see you one of these days. The time I was there, I think you were in the city, so I'll I'll come back one of these days and say hello. But I love the new showroom. I really do. Thank you so much.